glacial landforms are formed by the glaciers. A glacier is a sheet of ice that covers a large continental area of a mountain region and it is constantly in motion. Glaciers form in some cold areas, not everywhere. Many areas of the world receive snow and ice during the winter months. However, in most areas the warm summer causes the snow and ice to melt. Glaciers form only in those areas where the temperature remains too low for all of the snow to melt. As the snow piles up, the pressure increases at the bottom of the snow pile and the snow gets compacted. Snow that melts quickly refreezes. It forms ice. Fresh snow is about 90 percent there. Once uh, half of the air spaces in the snow pile have been filled with ice, this pile is called nevi or fern. Fern takes about a year to form. Eventually, fern becomes compressed and changes into solid body of ice. The transitions from snow to fern and from fern to ice may take 3 to 5 years in places where warm temperatures cause snow to melt. In colder parts of the world, this transition may take as long as 100 years. Glaciers are of two types, continental glaciers and valley or alpine glaciers. There are only two large continental glaciers remaining, one in Greenland and the other is in Antarctica. However, many mountains around the world have smaller glaciers called as alpine glaciers. These alpine glaciers mostly go to be moving into valleys that is glacier valleys. Even though glaciers have solid ice, they can still move and expand. As pressure builds up from the glacier's weight, some of the ice becomes deformed and flows like a hot plastic. It is this moving glacier that is responsible for carving out different type of topographic features. The speed of the movement of the glacier goes on to variable and uh, it is in this case of a variable movement uh, that the glaciers themselves uh, go on to depict certain type of features. Effectively, both the types of glaciers uh, that is valley glaciers as well as mountain glaciers both of them go on to move. The glaciers in the process of movement, they cause both erosion and deposition to take place. No one knows exactly how glaciers erode. The process of erosion are thought to include one is plucking. Plucking is also going to be called by the name of quarrying. This process occurs when ice freezes on pre-shattered rock and carries it away as the glaciers move downslope. Since uh, ice has a low tensile strength that is resistant to breaking under strain, the rocks must first be broken by freeze thaw action or pressure release. Quarrying is the predominant process of glacial erosion. Second is abrasion. Abrasion is the process of grinding away of a bedrock by fragments or bedrocks uh, incorporated in the ice. Evidence of abrasion include polished rock surfaces, deep grooves in soft rocks and fine situations in resistant rocks as well as rock flow. The third is pressure release. Rocks were consolidated under the weight of overlying strata. When the glaciers removed these strata and then melted water burst upwards in a sense Cracking and shattering forming a loosened layer easily removed by later deglaciation. Effectively, this is one of this process eh, that is eh, the that is that happens because of the release of the weight over the uh, over the surface eh, and that causes eh, the rocks eh, to move upward to swell. These Processes are responsible for creation of several type of topographic features called as erosional landforms. 
One of this erosional landform is Nivation Hollow. When snow collects in a mountain hollow, it may be converted into fern or a nevi. And with the alternating freeze and thaw process of weathering going on under the nevi, the base of the hollow may be deepened and the sides of the hollow become steeper. This is called as Nivation Hollow. Second is Cirque. As the hollow deepens, the nevi becomes compacted into ice and extra weight may cause the ice to flow downhill. Thus, a small glacier is born. This is called as a glacierette. But the hollow with its accumulation of nevi grows deeper and ultimately leads to formation of an amphitheater like hollow. This deep amphitheater shaped rock basin with steep sides and an opening downstream is called surf. 